Bula Vinaka, Namaste and warm Pacific greetings. It's a special vlog we're recording for our students as we uh, come to semester two and uh, begin to realize the realities of the new norm in a post-COVID-19 world. I'm really pleased that our acting Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Jito Vanuwalai Lai, is with me this morning to uh, talk about some of the things that you need to know as you uh, prepare for classes next week. So Professor Jito, uh, good morning and welcome. Uh, good morning, DC. Yeah, I was just wondering if you could share with us uh, what the arrangements are for our students who are based in Fiji who will be uh, studying uh, starting next semester or returning to, to resume their studies. Uh, thank you, VC, and uh, thank you for including me in your daily vlog or your frequent vlog. It's a pleasure to be on it. Uh, now, the, as you know, the Fiji government has, uh, has decided to re uh, remove some of the restri restrictions of the COVID-19. And uh, so within those restrictions, we can actually have face-to-face -face classes here on campus. Oh, that's good news. Yes, that's very good news. And that is we can only have 50% capacity uh, of our classrooms. In other words, only about 50% of our students can, can attend a face-to-face -face class. So, yeah. Is this to take account of the 100 limit that's in right. our classes? That's okay. right. All right. And with that constraint, we really have to come up with some novel solutions. And uh, one of those is that uh, uh, while we'll ensure that we'll have the COVID-19 restrictions, we want to make our students understand that uh, we also have what we call lecture capture. So they will be, uh, we'll have the lectures um, live, but also it will, it will be filmed after the lecture, the live lecture has ended. We'll make that film or the video available via Moodle. Oh, that's a fantastic. Yes. So can you just tell me that do our students who are based at our three campuses at Latoka, yes. at Lambasa and Lothala, do they all have to attend uh, the classes face to face? They don't have to attend face to face. Eh? And in fact, not only our Lambasa, even Lambasa and Latoka students. In fact, uh, for every face to face course that we offer, we will also have a remote component. So an online component. And, and so therefore, we have opened up these face-to-face -face courses region-wide. So the good news is that uh, our students from the region and from our regional campuses, they can take the remote component of these face-to-face -face courses. But, but of course, we really want to encourage our ah, Fiji-based yes. students to come to those face-to-face -face lectures oh, as, as much as possible. Absolutely. Okay. We right. really want to encourage that. So, Please come to face-to-face -face classes. Yep. So, um, so, Professor Jito, can you talk to us about those students who are in the region who can't return uh, to the three That's campuses? Right. And uh, what sort of arrangements has you, have you and your team made to ensure that uh, you know, they get a quality um, second semester student yep. experience and yep. a quality education? Absolutely right. And uh, the, as we did in semester one, uh, we ensure that uh, the continuity of education is maintained, sustained, and the engagement of our students is sustained or sustained as well. And so this semester as well, we are ensuring that for every face-to-face -face course, there's a remote component. And our students can access these remote components, uh, they, uh, and our staff will ensure that they are engaged with our, our original students as well as much as possible. So can you also tell us a bit about face-to-face um, -face test papers? How will that That's work right. in our region? How will that work for yes. students who can't uh, come to the, to the normal lecture theatres? Yes. So in order to ensure uh, the, the quality, uh, what we are doing now is different from semester one, where 100% of our courses uh, were taught uh, remotely. Yeah. And 100% uh, of our concentrations were on, on those remote courses. However, because our, our staff now are concentrating on the face-to-face, -face, what we'll be doing is that the, the, the exams and the test will be delivered to, to the regional campuses mm -hmm. and our students are required to come to the regional campuses to take, on, uh, to take the final exams or to take the tests and final exams. So these are the only requirements of our students that they should come to the regional campuses 
to take the tests. And so that will actually make it easier for them because they don't have to rely on uploading the exam paper and not and it getting no. mixed up or anything. Absolutely this will, not. The idea is to make it far more simpler for our students. That's right. Okay, excellent. Um, Professor Jito, now there's some of our courses, of course, which have components as, as we did in the first semester in the science right. courses yes. where with laboratories. What, what arrangements are there for students who can't attend science yeah. labs or you know can't do certain components which have a necessary field work and attached to it or something like that? Yes, you're, you're right, uh, VC. So for those students, we have made an arrangement whereby the, they can do the theoretical components at the regional campuses. But uh, the moment the, the borders are open, We'll have, they'll have to come back and uh, or whenever they come back in, in the in the uh, next semesters, the following semesters, they'll just have to come back and do the the practical component. So they will get an incomplete. That's right. And then an incomplete uh, grade. Yeah. While we wait for that opportunity for them to do the the practical. Yeah. Uh, so so what we're telling our students is that they don't need to worry about that component. Absolutely. That you know we are here to really help them. That's right achieve their educational goals right. and that you know we'll help them get through those components whether they have to come to the university a week earlier or something that's something your, your team I gather are working on how that will work if if there's a significant number of students next year yes you're right and of course we'll, uh, since students will be completing their degree eventually they need to come one day to the campus and that's when we make uh, sure that they do the practicals so. yeah. Professor Jito, I'm just interested to know if there's some courses that might not have any remote, um, you know, we've said every undergraduate course will have it, but there might be some postgraduate courses that might not have a um, flexible remote learning component just because of the way the nature of the subject, you know, given the interaction that's required with the lecturer. Do you want to just say yes, something right. about that? Yes. Unfortunately, some of the courses, because of their very nature, uh, cannot be remotely de delivered. For example, our GIS, some of our GIS courses, because they are so lab intensive, it's almost every yes. day, where they have, for example, they have to interact with uh, the software and they have to fly a drone, for example. So they are so lab intensive that it's basically practically impossible to have these courses delivered remotely. So there are I, several, some, several courses are like that, and some of our postgraduate courses yeah. as well, and of course our master's and PhD programs. Mm -hmm. So I guess what we're saying is where possible there will be an right. online component this year, yes. a, a remote teaching component? Yes, as much as possible we'll deliver the remote yep. components, but only for those courses that have yeah. very specialized requirements, those yeah. are the ones that we can yeah. So, so I guess uh, what both uh, Professor Jito and I'd like to say is, you know, we're really looking forward to all our students coming back on campus. Please be aware that, you know, there will be opportunities for our students, particularly in our regional campuses, to uh, continue their studies through remote uh, learning. But that also, um, you know, there might be some courses, just because of the nature of the courses, as Professor Jito has said, that might not be available. Well, Professor Jito, thank you so much for, uh, for joining me today and, uh, and can I just say a very big thank you to you and your team because I think that uh, you know, you've done an extraordinary job to get us ready for semester two and I think the students uh, should, should feel very comfortable and confident that uh, you know, this should be a very exciting semester coming up. So thank you again. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be on your vlog. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>